What's up, guys, and welcome to The Gauntlet. So, guys, this is a game show where I bring in a new YouTuber every month. And this month, guys, the YouTuber needs no introduction. He's an awesome YouTuber and an awesome friend, Code Primate. Woohoo! What's up, everybody? <laughs> <laughs> what is up, Code? So, so, guys, for those of you at home watching this right now, this game show, for you guys probably like, what's the gauntlet? What is it? 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 <laughs> so this is the thing that I just sort of thought of, you know, out of nowhere, kind of like thin air thing. I'm just like thinking, I'm like, man, that would be super awesome if I just did this. So I just, I did it. I did it. Okay. You know, and, uh, um, and code was so awesome enough to be the, the first contestant on this game show guys. <laughs> so give it up to code for being my guinea pig. <laughs> first, first victim. First, 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 first experiment. First, first victim. <laughs> All right, so how the game show works, guys, is this. It's pretty simple. Um, Code goes into this with two advantages. One, he gets to pick the game that we're playing, which he chose Speedrun 4. He also gets to pick the category that the trivia questions that I'm going to be asking during this come from, and he chose the 90s. So i got to ask you, Code, why the 90s? That's the the time frame that I you know grew up in. I was born in eighty one, but you know that first nine years of your life, it's just kind of that's not Hard really what defines you. You know, it's from <laughs> from the age of ten to like sixteen, where you're trying to find yourself. High school time frame, stuff like that. That's what really builds you, and that's the stuff that sticks with you for for most of your life. And I totally forgot to start the music in the background. There, go. <laughs> So, so how how confident are you that you're gonna win this? I would say on a scale of one to Z, I would have lint chance. <laughs> lint chance. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, the goal in this is is this. Your goal is to get fifty points, okay? And how do you do that? Well, every question that you get correct is worth one point. However, if you get a question incorrectly, you have to take your hands and remove them from the keyboard and mouse. Count to five before placing them back on the keyboard mouse. You can do it as fast as you want. Pull them off, one, two, three, four, five, and then put them back on. Why is that important? Because the in-game challenge is worth 10 points. Now the in-game challenge for this game is simply to get further in the game than me during this. Okay, mm. so keep in mind that I'm going to be reading questions while um, controlling a ticker to keep track of how many questions you got correct <laughs> and looking at a timer. So um, we're both at a disadvantage here. So so it's definitely going to be interesting how this plays out. Now, another thing, you can choose to skip a question or say pass on a question. But skip. Keep in mind that <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. there is only 100 questions so if you if you pass through all of them or skip through all of them the game ends right then and there so when the hundredth question is asked the game ends or when the 30 minutes is up then the game ends so those are the variables that cause the game to end and you have to have 50 points or more to beat me now the interesting okay. part about this is the loser has to spin the wheel of punishment i've seen it <clears throat> Yes. I'm, Code I'm, ho got I'm hoping for mustard. Look at it. I'm hoping for mustard. <laughs> so uh. the wheel of punishment could be anything from eating punishment, eating ketchup, to putting... <laughs> e eating <up>. punishment, yes. <laughs> yes, I will be definitely <laughs> eating the punishment. <laughs> to, uh. to putting a banner on your channel saying that you lost in the gauntlet. And uh, um, so there's interest. It's interesting. Or even making funny impressions. It's, 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 it's definitely going to be interesting. And... Uh, um, and I'm now realizing that we have people in game with us, so we might have obstacles. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so hey, so um, that could... Dark J, real quick. Um, you know that I've got um, attention deficit hybrid disorder, right? I, I do have, like, clinical ADHD, right? Uh-huh. Okay. Welcome, everybody, to Lumber Tycoon 2 for... <laughs> this... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, is, is there any other rules that we need for this? Um, there, 
There is no other rules. It is it is that simple. So if, if you get a question right, I'll let you know. If you get a question wrong, I will let you know. And again, if you get a question wrong, you have to remove your hands. Five From the keyboard and mouse, count to five. Yep, and throw them back on. So yeah. let's all, let's start. Um, we'll start at the white square, I guess. Or sure, yeah, sure. White, white, white square, all right. Just tell me when. All right. All right. So I'm putting 30 minutes on the clock here. And... Ready, set, go! Oh. First question is, what was Britney Spears' first song called? Uh, Hit Me Baby One More Time. Correct. Woo! Um, the logo for Beanie Babies had what letters on them? Uh, BB. Incorrect. Oh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. Ooh. What famous basketball star played in Space Jam? Uh, Michael Jordan. Correct. Um, Mr. Feeney was a teacher in which popular 90s TV show? Oh, God. Oh. Saved by the Bell. Incorrect. <laughs> it, was One. Bo- it was Boy Meets World. Four, five, okay. In the Nickelodeon TV show Rugrats, what was Tommy's last name? Uh, pickle. That is correct. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Who wrote the 90s book series Goosebumps? Uh, R.L. Stein. That is also correct. Woo! <laughs> um, but what was the original flavor of the ni- popular 90s snack Dunkaroos? Oh, uh, uh, vanilla. Incorrect. It was uh, cin- cinnamon. One, two... Three. I'm messing this up so Five. bad right now. Oh, go. Okay. Okay. In sync consisted of Justin Timberlake, Lance Bass, uh, JC uh, Chazes, Joey Fatone, and this last artist. I don't know. <laughs> Incorrect. It was Chris Patrick. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. Okay, go. All right. Um, the popular TV show Pokemon. Um, what was the main character's name? Uh, Ash. Correct. Woo. Um, what flavor was the popular drink Surge? Uh, it was citrus flavored because it didn't really have a flavor. Correct. <laughs> mm. Tamagotchi is the Japanese word, um, Japanese combination of what two English words? Uh, digital and pet. Incorrect. Ah. Is egg and watch. <laughs> Come on, that was so close. <laughs> <laughs> so close. <yeah. laughs> All right, the game show where teams competed to find lost treasure in a Mayan temple was oh. called what? Oh. <clears throat> We we had a Roblox challenge on this one. It was uh, lost, uh, lost, lost temple, lost temple. Incorrect. It was Legends of the Hidden. Temple. One, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Okay. All right. What was the name of the Nickelodeon show that Amanda Bynes um, got her start on? Who's Amanda Bynes? <laughs> <laughs> Skip one. Two, three, <laughs> four, five. Oh, okay. <laughs> what was it? Ro- <laughs> it was all that. Oh. <laughs> Rocco from the Nickelodeon show Rocco's Modern Life was what kind of animal? Uh, he was a dingo. Incorrect. He was a wallaby. What? One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Okay. All right. Um, Oreo O's cereal was made by what company? Mm. Nabisco. Incorrect. It was made by Post. Two, three, (laughs) five. (sighs) Okay. In the band Spice Girls, Mel B was known as what? Um, Scary Spice. Correct. Woo. I, didn't think you, I actually didn't think you would know that one. <laughs> um, the Spice Girls I paid attention to. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
<laughs> White Mystery was a flavor of which popular candy from the 90s? White Mystery. Um, that would be uh, Licking Sticks? Incorrect. It was Airheads. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And I should have known that because my daughter found those, by the way. Uh, uh, who who played Clarissa in the show Clarissa Knows It or Explains It All? Clarissa? <laughs> um, no. Um, wait, 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 wait. Clarissa Explains It All. I give one, two, three, four, five. There's Melissa Joan Hart, by the way. Um, Full House took place in what U.S. city? Uh, San Diego? San Francisco. Oh, did, I, did I get it right the first time? <laughs> you did not get it right the first time, but I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll be, I'll, I'll be nice. I'll give it to you. Okay, okay. I remember right. I remember the trolleys and I'm like, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> <laughs> Waterfalls was a popular nineties song by what band? TLC. Correct. <laughs> oh man. Please don't judge me all because right. I know all the girl bands. <laughs> <laughs> On the show Friends, what was the name of Ross and Rachel's baby? Um I don't know. Seven? <laughs> no, that's Seinfeld. <laughs> it was it was Emma. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, the original game Bop It featured three inputs: Bop It, Twist It, and what was the third? Bop It, Twist It, Spin It. Incorrect. Boy. It was Pull It. It was what? Pull it. Pull it. Bop it. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. All right. In 1998, which movie won Oscar for best original screenplay? Was it Titanic or Goodwill Hunting? Uh, Titanic. Incorrect. It was Goodwill Hunting. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is the name of the house that Cat moves into in the 1995 film Casper? The um, name of the house. The uh, the old place on the hill. Uh, no, I don't know. know. <laughs> Manor. It is Whip Whipstaff Manor. One, two, three. Four, five. I am disgracing my generation right now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's it's all right. I'm a '90s kid too. <laughs> what what was the name of the sheep that was known as the first successfully cloned animal from 1996? Oh, uh, Lucy. It was Dolly. Dolly. <sighs> One. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Alright. What does the acronym Jinko and Jinko Jeans stand for? <laughs> I didn't know it had one. I had a lot of pairs of them though. Uh, <laughs> uh, I give. Judge none, choose one. One, two, <laughs> three. <laughs> Four, five. You're getting a huge advantage here, by the way. <laughs> I don't know, man. I keep dying. <laughs> <laughs> Which band was formed first, In Sync or the Backstreet Boys? Oh, Backstreet Boys. That is correct. All right. What was the highest-grossing movie of the '90s? What was the highest-grossing? The highest-grossing movie of the '90s. Titanic? Correct. Woo! Woo! <laughs> what film was first ever animated, the first ever animated movie to be nominated an Academy Award for Best Picture? Mm. First animated series in the 90s. Animated movie. Okay. Okay. Um... 
can't think of any animations in, in there. Do you were like four levels ahead of me? Are you serious? I'm totally losing a challenge. Yeah, let me let me think about this for a second. Hold on. I'm I'm just standing here for a second, so count that in my five seconds. <laughs> um Huh. Animated series. Movie, movie, movie. Uh, anim animated movie, animated movie. What was the first letter? <laughs> uh, B. 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 Still don't know. Give. Beauty and the Beast. <gasps> I knew it! Oh. <laughs> In 1997, who became the first woman to be appointed as the Secretary of State of the United States? I don't know that. That's politics. Oh, died again! <laughs> I, I, I don't know. One, two... Three, yeah. four, <laughs> Madeline Albright. Five. Oh. Which Jim Carrey film came out first? The Mask or Ace Ventura Pet Detective? Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Correct. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whose ear did Mike Tyson bite off? Holy from Phil. A boxing match. Correct. Um, who was the first host of MTV's House of Style? <laughs> this is my career. This is where the magic happened. No, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Cindy Crawford. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, go. The band Ace of Base was from, from what country? Uh, Germany. Sweden. What? One, yep. two, three, four. Five. I know they didn't like speak English very well. That's why it's like all that she wants yeah. is another baby. So I mean, <laughs> <laughs> what is the name of Will Smith's character in Independence Day? An in Independence Day? Uh, mm -hmm. Lieutenant. I don't know. Um, it was Captain Steve Hiller. Mm. One, two, three. Four, five. I bet this scene is very confusing because uh, the entire level is all these circuits and then my background is all circuits. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. Keep going. Go, 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 go. I gotta get 50 points. Which 1997 film stars Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, and John Malkovich? Uh, uh, Air. Uh, uh, Con Air. Correct. Woo! What year was Forrest Gump released? 1994. Correct. Who sang the song My Heart Will Go On from the movie Titanic? Celine Dion. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> which, which artist sang the song Oh Pretty Woman from the movie Pretty Woman? Woman. Ah, uh, Pretty Woman. Walking down the street, down the street pretty woman. <laughs> I can't believe it. I don't know the answer. I'm gonna take five. Who was it? <laughs> Dark. Roy Orbison. Two, three, four, five. I know the song. Um, <laughs> what movie had the famous quote, "There's no crying in baseball"? <laughs> that was. Uh, all American All Stars. Uh, American America. All uh, what is it? All American uh, baseball. It was in a league of their own. Oh! Uh, one, two, three, four, <laughs> five. Oh, this is bringing back so many memories, though. Oh yeah, James Woods voiced the villain for which 1997 animated movie? Who's James Woods? <laughs> oh, man. Um, oh, man. Animated movie. Hercules. Correct. Woo! How did you not know who James Woods were? <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, <laughs> I didn't. But I, wow. did, I did know that the famous villain for the voiceover acting was the guy that's like, Ladies, I know, I know that you know. <laughs> what? Which 90s movie soundtrack is the best selling movie soundtrack of all time? Uh, Goofy Movie. 
um, the bodyguard. Oh, oh no! One, two, three, four, five. What movie had the famous quote, you can't handle the truth? Um, you can't handle the truth! Oh. <sighs> Lieutenant Jacob, United States Marine, or General. <laughs> It was a few good men. <laughs> oh no! One, two, three, four, five. Okay. What was the name of the camp from the Nickelodeon show, um, uh, Sleeve Shorts? What, what was it? What was the name of the camp from the Nickelodeon show, Salute Your Shorts? Uh. Lake. Uh. Camp, bum, 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 dun, 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 dun. I remember the song. Can't even think of the camp. Hana, 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 Hakalugi, Haka. Yeah. <laughs> Is camp Anawana? Anawana! I was saying it. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, go. In a popular '90s TV show, Keenan and Kel, what was Kel's favorite drink? I never watched it. Um. Uh, Dr. Pepper. <laughs> you love orange soda? I love orange soda. Yes, I do. I do. I do. Orange. Oh. oh. Welcome to Good Burger. Come with the Good Burger. Can I take your order? That's right. That's uh, right. Three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> what was the name of the ancient prone. Um, it, oh, oh, sorry. The accident prone main character of the popular show Family Matters. Accident prone Family Matters. Uh, <sighs> Urkel. Yes, correct. Oh, I had to think. It I'm like, family Steve. matters, family matters. Did I do that? Urkel. <laughs> On Saved by the Bell, what was the name of the beach club that the gang worked at? Oh, uh, wait, sorry. What was the question? On Saved by the Bell, what was the name of the beach club that the gang worked at? I don't know. It was Malibu Sands Beach Club. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Less, less Philadelphia born and raised is the beginning of what TV show? Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That is correct, sir. <laughs> <laughs> what? What was Leonardo DiCaprio's character's name in the, the movie Titanic? Uh, Jack. That is correct. <laughs> Hold on, Jack. What TV, what TV series featured a werewolf who plucked bass and was in a band called Dingo's Ate My Baby? Oh, uh, uh, Teenage Werewolf. No, it was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. What? All right. Yeah. Um, Two, three, four, five. Okay. What was the name of Sonic the Hedgehog's Fox sidekick who joined him in the second saga series, Sonic the Hedgehog 2? Tails. That is correct. I would be an embarrassment oh. to society if I <laughs> missed that one. <laughs> in 1992, Coca Cola launched a transparent cola, which was discontinued within two years. What was it called? Clear Crystal. Crystal Clear. It was, it was Tab Clear. What? Crystal Clear was the Pepsi one. <gasps> no! Okay. Which, by the way, you can find that on eBay. Do not drink it. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. What Tim Burton movie stars a character first seen riding atop Michael Keaton's hat in Beetlejuice? So the character was first seen in Beetlejuice. What movie later featured this character? On top of Beetlejuice's hat? Yes. Did Beetlejuice have a hat? Yes. In the beginning of the film. Was it a sandworm? No. Oh, I give up. It was Nightmare Before Christmas to Jack Skellington. Oh! That was an Easter egg put in there by, um, by, by the creator himself, Tim Burton. <laughs> like years before it. <laughs> That's yes. awesome. 
Yes. Which hockey icon announced his retirement in 1999? Ooh. Um. Don't know. Wayne Gretzky. Which hit TV show from the 90s was produced by David Hasselhoff? David Hasselhoff? Hold on a second. Hold on. What is this? What is this? What is this? Get... <laughs> the fat rat was going crazy there for a second. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is he creeping you? <laughs> yeah. It started, like, shouting angry at me and stuff. <laughs> okay. Ah, I just died. Sorry, uh, wait, where are you? Alright, there's Dark uh, J. Wait. Wait, Sorry, I'm delaying the inevitable that I don't know the answer. <laughs> uh, Alright, it was Baywatch. Which artist had the most number one hit songs during the 90s? One, two, three, four, five. Which artist had the most songs during the 90s? Michael Jackson. Mariah Carey. Oh! One, two, three, four, five. Always be um. your baby, and we'll linger on. Sorry. <laughs> Direct, directed by Steven Spielberg, what 1993 science fiction adventure film uh, was based on a book um, by Michael Crichton? I don't know that. <laughs> One, two. It was three. Jurassic Park. Okay. What year did the sitcom Friends premiere on NBC? Uh, uh, 1994. Correct. <laughs> what artist had the first number one rap single of all time? Uh, <laughs> NWA. <laughs> da -na 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 -na. Ice, ice, baby. Ice. Oh, uh, 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 Vanilla Ice. Vanilla I'll ice. give it to you. I'll give it to you. <laughs> Tonka, a toy company known for building cho toy trucks, created a doll during the 90s. What was that doll called? Tonka doll? Yes, um, it was made by, by Tonka. Was it the uh, My Buddy? No, it was the Cupcake Dolls. What? Oh. <sighs> One, <laughs> two, three, <laughs> four... Five. Okay. Which celebrity popularized the hairstyle known as the Rachel? Um, would it be uh, Jennifer uh, Jennifer Anderson? Correct. Woo! All I don't. Right. I don't like Brad. Question. Brad broke her heart. <laughs> Sorry. What? What? What toy, which was introduced in 1996? Um, would begin to shake and laugh hysterically when squeezed three times in a row. It, that was the Tickle Me Elmo. That is correct. Popularized during the 1990s, what game used milk cap discs made of cardboard and slammers? Pogs! Pogs! Correct! Oh! What Mario game released in the year 1990? 1990 would have been Super Nintendo, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that would be uh, Super Mario World for the SNES. That is correct. What gory fighting game made its first appearance in 1992? Mortal Kombat. That is also correct. <laughs> uh, after spending 27 years in prison, this person was released on February 11, 1990. They later went on to become president of South Africa. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Nelson Mandela. One. A lot of people think he died in prison too, and it's called the Mandela effect. Hmm. But he actually did not die in prison, obviously, because, you know, president and all. <laughs> <laughs> this popular TV show that started in 1989 aired its final episode on May 14th, 1998. It was estimated that 76 million people watched this final episode. Friends. Incorrect. It was Seinfeld. Oh. What is with that? <laughs> Sorry, one, yeah. two, three, four, five. Okay. The president elected to office in 1992. President in 1992 would have been Bill Clinton. 
That is correct. Woo. Who, who in 1990 did Iron Mike Tyson relinquish his WBC title to by knockout in the 10th round? Mm, not Holyfield. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't I know. I don't think Holyfield wanted to box anymore after that. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm not. No, I'm done. <laughs> I, I give. It was James, James Douglas. I didn't know that. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Who shot Mr. Burns? Who shot what? Mr. Burns. Oh. I don't know. It was Maggie Simpson. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. No, I was totally playing the episode back through my head, and then when you said the name, it was like the reveal all over again. I'm like, no! <laughs> Which 90s TV series had the slogan, The Truth is Out There? X Files. That is correct. Family Matters was a spinoff of what TV show? <sighs> Most people don't even know that it was a spinoff. I didn't know it was a spinoff. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. Perfect Strangers. One, two, three, four, five. I'll admit, I did not know that one. Okay. What 90s TV series, what number, sorry, what 90s sitcom featured the Hatchet Brothers who operated Sandpiper Air in Nantucket? For the Hatchet Brothers. Sorry. Mm. Don't, I don't know. Wings. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. That was my mom's show. That wasn't mine. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what's the name of the fictional town where Rocket Power takes place? Where, what? Rocket Power? Yes. Um, I don't know. Ocean Shores, California. Okay. From the 90s TV show, um, Doug, what is Doug Funny's favorite band? <laughs> uh, uh, I don't know. I'll give you a hint. His shirt had the logo on it. Qua uh, the only thing I can think of is Quail Boy. The Beats. Oh! One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Which 90s TV show features characters with the names Tommy, Zach, Kimberly, Billy, Billy and Trini? Trini. Trina. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy. Tommy, Zach, Kimberly, Billy, and Trina. Was that Saved by the Bell? Incorrect. The Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, man. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I, I apologize, Internet. Uh, I even do memes <laughs> of them like all the time. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, cool. In 1992, the Toronto Blue Jays became the first Canadian professional sports team to win what? Blue Jays. Uh, hockey? No, incorrect. The World Series Baseball. One, two, three, four, five. Can we go back to the like, Nintendo questions? <laughs> 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 What film won the Oscar for Best Picture in 1995? Uh, 95. I don't. I don't know. Forrest Gump. <gasps> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> well, that's my boat. <laughs> <laughs> what toy from the 90s was inspired by Gizmo and was banned from the FBI and government offices for fear of recording classified info? Uh, by Gizmo. <sighs> from, from Gremlins. It was inspired. The Furby! The Furby! Correct. Whoa. Correct! I'm like, I remember this one because it was a big conspiracy <laughs> theory. Okay. <laughs> Who won the Oscar in 1995 for Best Actor? 
1995 for best actor. Tom Hanks. That is correct. Woo! In Forrest Gump. <laughs> yes, that is correct. In the 1996 Summer Olympics in Atlanta, Georgia, who lit the torch? Who? Uh, I don't know. Muhammad Ali. Ah, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. How many points am I up to? Um, 32, but we haven't calculated the challenge yet, so... Okay. And you're definitely beating me here, so... <laughs> <laughs> okay, go. It, the, orig the original run of which Star Trek series ended in 1999? Uh, Battle Galactica. Um, that is incorrect. It was Deep Space Nine. Oh. Oh, well, that's okay. One, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four... Five. I like Star Wars anyway. Oh! Oh! I knew you'd go there. <laughs> Half my Which subs just dropped right now. <laughs> <laughs> Which sci-fi TV series starring Bruce Boxliner and John and Claudia Christian uh, as Susan ended its five-year run in 1998? Claudia and Christian. It was sci-fi. 1998, Claudia and Christian. Um, Warehouse 13 wasn't out yet. Claudia and Christian would have been... I don't know. Babylon 5. Two, three, four, five. Dude, this is the level to catch up on. I, I mean... <laughs> <laughs> what virus outbreak in 1999 caused a worldwide fear of mosquitoes? The... Uh, Mmm. Of mosquitoes? Yes. Would that be Ebola virus? No. West Nile. Um, one, two, three, four, five. What year did Buckingham Palace open its doors to the public? Oh, oh no! Oh, the oh, timer is that just the went... Down. Yeah, it was the timer. That was 30 oh. minutes. <sighs> 32 points. You obviously beat me in the challenge, so 42 points. Dude, you were only 8 points away, dude. That's not... That's... Can I... <sighs> <laughs> oh, man. <sighs> okay. Okay. So, am I spinning <laughs> it, or do you spin it? All right, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna spin it on my screen here. Okay. Um. <clears throat> oh man, this is this is gonna be so interesting. All right, I got it up on the board here. We're spinning it right now. Let's, let's bring that sound down a little bit. And here we go. Come on, eat mustard. Come on, eat mustard. <laughs> What? What? It was actually a spoonful of mustard. Really? Really? Yeah. Oh! Are oh. you psychic? What? I'm gonna. I'll be right. Can I do the challenge right now? Guys, yeah, so you can do the challenge. Oh, right oh, now. I'll be right back. <laughs> so, oh, hang tight. Mustard. Hang tight. Talk to the audience. <laughs> oh man, guys, this is this is insane. He called the challenge, guys. Before we even got there, said that he would eat a spoonful of mustard, like right now and there, and he got it. Guys, you guys see how hard this challenge is. So next month, we're going to have another challenge with another YouTuber. So you guys are definitely going to have to stay tuned and watch and check this out. Oh my gosh, can't wait till Code gets back to the reaction on his face with the mustard. Oh man. This is crazy. I can't, I can't, I, oh, I can't believe he's going to eat a whole spoonful of mustard. Oh, I think I hear him pouring it. Oh, man. Oh. Did, you, did you just do it? Uh, no, not yet. Not yet. No, oh, I just, oh, I just got back. Like oh, man. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, here, hold on. Um, over on Discord, just so you can verify, I will uh, I'll turn on my second camera for you. <clears throat> oh, man. Oh, okay. I can see it. I can see it. Oh, man. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh, oh, that's oh. the good stuff. Cop oh, copyright, no, copyright. <laughs> oh no, he's 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 doing it. Guys. And I got oh, I got he's... one of those big spoons. You know, I didn't want to try and wuss oh, out on you guys. Oh man, here it goes. Oh, there it is. 
Oh, it's man. not quite tall enough. Oh, so no. there's so much in that spell. <sighs> so much. Oh my gosh, he's doing it. Oh, oh he just ate it. He just ate a whole spoonful of mustard. Oh, oh, I'm cringing just watching that. Oh mm. my god, oh, man. Mm. Oh. Wait, are, oh you doing, are, you, are, you, are you doing? Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you doing a second one? Oh, it's oh, it's getting good. What, what is wrong with <laughs> <laughs> you? Okay. Um, oh no! Oh, um, oh man! Um, oh, oh, I've never seen anybody in um, my life that actually liked eating spoons full of mustard. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh, I gotta make the challenge far worse, guys. That's. <gasps> That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> oh man. Wow. Well guys, if you <laughs> like this video, be sure to hit that like button, share it, go check out Coach Channel and give him a like for for that. That's crazy. <laughs> wow. So and if you guys think that you are better at uh, um, at answering nineties questions, um let me know. Let me know in the comments down below, guys. You guys are awesome. And Code, thank you so much for doing this. Thank you for having um, me. This is this was really fun. This was wow. <laughs> <laughs> it was intense. It was intense, right? Like, mm -hmm. oh man, for me it was really hard. Like, cause trying to have hand-eye coordination while reading the questions, while handling a ticker and a timer. That's just wow. It was just so crazy. So I get <laughs> and, and man. It was, but it was fun. It was so fun. Wow. Oh, man. Oh so thank you once again. And guys, as always, stay awesome. I'm Dark J. I'm Code Primate. And we're out, guys. Bye. Outro. Thank you.